The Guide to Mediation of Estate Disputes. Estate disputes that occur after a loved one passes away can be painful and exhausting, emotionally and financially. It's for these reasons we often recommend that our clients participate in mediation to resolve their issues sooner and for less legal spend. Here we're going to take a look at mediation of estate disputes and try to cover the primary things you need to know about how mediation can help you and your family work through estate conflicts so you all can move on sooner. What is an estate dispute, contest, or conflict? An estate dispute, sometimes called a contest or conflict, can occur either after the death of a family member or friend, often called the decedent, or during the estate planning process. Family members, beneficiaries, or other loved ones may disagree with the decedent's choices or an interpretation of the decedent's wishes. Here are some of the most common types of estate disputes we see. Property distribution. One of the most frequent causes of estate disputes is conflicts over the distribution of property. A typical situation is one where one party believes that the decedent intended for them to receive a piece of specific property but the will or trust doesn't leave it to them. Another common situation is when family members believe that the decedent's property has been distributed unfairly or inequitably. Suppose one sibling took a large loan from a parent that was outstanding when the parent died. In that situation, the other siblings may take issue with a property distribution that does not deduct the loan amount from the indebted sibling's share, or more frequently, the indebted sibling refuses to honor that obligation. Validity of the will. Parties may dispute whether the will is valid. For example, if the decedent did not follow certain legal formalities when executing the will, then interested parties can argue that it's not a legal document. Lack of capacity. Interested parties may also be concerned that the decedent did not have the necessary testamentary capacity when they created a will. Testamentary capacity is a very low bar when it comes to wills and simply refers to the decedent's ability to understand three basic concepts. One, that they're making a will. Two, that they know the nature of the property they own. And three, they know who the people are who are going to inherit that property. If the decedent didn't understand one of these three things when the will was created, then perhaps someone can successfully contest the validity of that will. Undue influence. If the decedent changed their will or created a will because a third party compelled or forced them to do so, then an interested party could dispute the estate plan's validity on the grounds of undue influence. In many cases, the parties may disagree about whether the decedent was coerced into creating or changing estate planning documents and obtaining the evidence needed to pursue or defend an undue influence claim demands the assistance of an estate litigation lawyer. Estate executor or personal representative. An executor or personal representative is the person the decedent appoints to manage the estate after their death. Conflicts over executors and their appointment frequently arise when interested parties believe that the decedent made a poor choice in selecting the executor, did not choose the executor or did not choose him or her freely or when other parties think that the executor is mismanaging the estate assets. So what is estate mediation? Mediation is a collaborative form of alternative dispute resolution that occurs outside of court. The mediation session is conducted by a trained mediator, most often, in our cases, a retired probate judge, who helps the parties try and reach a mutually acceptable agreement. The mediator does not have any authority to make decisions, but instead serves as a facilitator between the parties to help them analyze the situation and facts, discuss relevant information and arguments, and explore potential resolutions. Mediation is a great way to resolve an estate dispute. Estate conflicts are often about more than legal issues. They usually involve family relationships or other long-term relationships, and the relationship issues that have percolated for years. These sorts of disputes are highly emotional, and for this reason, a collaborative mediation process might not just offer a solution to the resolve the estate dispute, but it might also allow an opportunity for parties to heal or minimally 
move on with their lives. What does an estate attorney do in a mediation? While the mediator is often a retired probate judge or sometimes an attorney, they're not required to be estate planning or family law experts and will not represent any of the parties or provide them with legal advice. This means that the parties' estate litigation attorneys will play a significant role in the mediation process by providing independent legal advice to their clients, not to mention doing all the diligence pre-mediation to ensure the case is ready to be mediated. The mediator's job is simply to assist the estate litigation attorneys and their clients to find a resolution of their conflict. The role of the estate litigation attorney in the mediation process is to advocate for their client's best interests, to protect their client's legal rights, and get them the best result they can. What is the common outcome of estate mediation? One of the most significant benefits of estate mediation is its ability to address the underlying non-legal issues that are fueling the fire of the dispute. This means that the solutions that the parties reach through mediation can be more comprehensive than an in-court answer would be. For example, resolving emotional issues may be the most valuable outcome for parties, but this solution isn't going to be something that a court or arbitrators can address. It's not uncommon that estate disputes involve matters where no legal remedy would satisfy the parties. Courts simply were not created to work out the emotional issues that are involved in estate disputes. Instead, judges are there to listen to testimony and make decisions that offer little relief to any party involved. If your goal is to find a solution to your estate dispute without needing to assign blame or creating a situation where one or more parties is gonna have hurt feelings, then mediation surely is gonna be your best option. How long does it take to get an estate settlement after mediation? Another benefit of mediation is that it offers quicker resolutions of estate disputes. If the parties reach an agreement, the mediator can create a written summary of the terms and ask the parties to sign that agreement on the spot. While the length of time to receive an estate settlement depends on the facts of the case and the agreement that the parties come to, court processes are notoriously slow and an agreement reached through mediation almost always is going to give you a better result sooner. When should I contact an estate litigation attorney? If you're dealing with an estate dispute, you should contact an estate litigation attorney as soon as possible. Mediation can be used at any point in an estate dispute, even if the conflict is already in court. However, it might be most beneficial and economical to participate in a mediation before you even go to court. A lawyer with experience handling will and trust disputes can review your situation and the facts of your case to advise you if mediation is the best course of action. If you have a large estate or contentious family dynamics, a mediation may also be appropriate during the estate planning process. Participating in mediation while deciding how the family is gonna have the estate distributed can help avoid disputes after your death. An added benefit of mediation during the estate planning process is that you get to be involved in the solution reached as opposed to what happens after you pass. Have questions? We protect people like you every day. Give us a call, shoot us an email. The consultation is always free. Thanks for watching.